Hey Tarosphere, it's Holly from Cape Cod Creatures and uh, I am here with a quick first impressions for a deck I just got from a Kickstarter campaign I just backed and it is the Inner Star Oracle deck and it is gorgeous. So um, the tier I backed I actually received two decks She's got because she's got two editions. She's got the Inner Star Oracle Magic and then she's got Inner Star Oracle Clarity. So the difference being is the magic deck actually has um, images on the background of the card behind the, um, the geometry design and clarity does not. It's just the geometry design. So I feel like these two decks, even though they are the same design and the same cards, um, actually have a really nice broad meaning to them um, like they're they're just very much different they've got two very different characters um, but I think in order to keep it brief today we'll only do a comparison of a couple of the first cards um, and then I'll just flip through the magic deck because it is very beautiful so first things first the tuck boxes are amazing they're a nice sturdy chipboard uh, they've got the little doobly they've got the little cutty outies for the for the things um, They've got a little description on the back of the box. So that way, you know, you can read about like what the thing is when, well, you know, it's got like the 55 cards and then like the little whatever. And then you open the box and it's got the nice white on the inside, which I love as opposed to, I'm finding that I love um, at least a white inside of the box as opposed to a, like a cardboard look. Um, it just makes the package look more finished. And then you get a little, um, a little white but like it's a guidebook but it's still it's it's over 68 pages long well it is 68 pages long but it's pretty pretty um, comprehensive for um, for each of the cards and it's like I, I don't like Oracle deck books that give 48 bajillion meanings for each card I like them I like them to be short and sweet like here's why I chose what I chose for artwork and then here are some keywords kind of a thing instead of um, the guidebooks that are like here's 48 meanings for 48 different situations for one card because at that point I feel like the card loses all meaning um, it's like too much meaning means no meaning at all so I'm not a big fan of that and the same thing this deck is a little bit smaller than the magic edition um, but it does have the nice awesome chipboard box and it comes with the same guidebook so you do get a guidebook if you go clarity um, and then okay so these are the backs of the cards this one is the the clarity one so it's got a slightly darker background um, and it's a woman sitting in you know like the lotus the lotus uh, yoga pose meditating I would assume and it's got a little sacred geometry going on there um, and then this one is the magic one the background is much it's a much lighter more airy feel and this one is kind of like a more like I know this one's clarity I would have almost expected a lighter background on clarity which is sounds weird but I do I do like that it's like the more colorful background on the smaller card because you're like the color that comes with these cards is like intense so um, for this one this is the first one they're alphabetical when you open the box so that's awesome so this is the first card it is activate your mind so as you can see the clarity edition has just the design and this one it's kind of hard to see actually I really like that about these cards is like the design is really prevalent like just just the um the the geometrical design is really prevalent on the card and then when you start to look at the card at different angles the image kind of shifts and you can kind of see what else is on the card so this one to me actually looks like a woman laying down like on the beach like she's she's laying down somewhere it looks kind of watery there's like a cloud the cloud in the corner but like here are her I don't know if you can see but here are her eyes here's her hair um, that might be the sky above her and this to me looks like sand so it's actually kind of cool how the image shifts and changes as you look at it like different aspects of it become um, 
like it kept like different aspects of it catch your eye more so that I, I actually really like that about this deck and the images are different for each um, for each card so anyway as you can see that's the difference between the two decks and then because we love us some color. I'm going to flip through the magic one. And then if anybody wants me to do a flip through for, for clarity, um, let me know. But like I said, it's the same exact designs. The deck is just a little smaller and it doesn't have um, the color on the background. So we've got activate your mind, allow the unknown, always evolving, this one is Ascending Spirit, and this is kind of a hard design to see, but it's actually fireworks, which I really, I really, really love. Um, this is Be Enchanted, and there's a, there's a, there's a buck behind there. I don't know if you can see, but a young buck, he's got a small set of antlers, and again, with some water on the bottom. Um, this one is, oh, and they're not sparkly, that's just my poor camera quality. Um, this one is Challenge Yourself, and th that is um, two figures on a mountain, and then there's like a range of mountains in the background. Childlike Play, Clarity of Insight, Co-Create Magic, Create Your Reality, Cultivate Compassion, Dare to Imagine, Diamond Strength, Elevate Your Mind, and then it goes on like that. Um, actually, this deck is actually very similar to, um, well, I'm not going to say it's very similar because actually I like it, I think I like it much better than Sacred Creators. Um, this, it's a this deck is a lot more accessible. This one is Embrace Change. It's kind of got the same idea though. It's it's a geometrical design, um, essential growth with a little like a key phrase on the bottom, like a self-helpy affirmation type of a phrase. Um, the difference here being is that there's actual like imagery and and like photography kind of going on in the background with the color. Um, the thing that I also like about this too is that the phrasing, for whatever reason does not bother me as much as sacred creators. This one is express your truth. Um, and there is a figure with a, um, with a tribal uh, feathered headdress on in the background. Um, this one I could see potentially ticking some people off um, because of today's, today's socio-political climate. Um, but I, I believe this is the only, I, it's hard to tell what kind of ethnicity the, the girl is in the background, but she is wearing like a feathered headband. Um, and it does look a little dream catcher -y to me almost like a little tribal. So I don't know, like, again, um, I think this is one of those decks where it's not going to be for everybody, but. I hope that I hope that a lot of people um, love it because it's actually a really good deck. Um, like I said, find your calm, growing community, inner resources, inspire yourself, intentional legacy. Um, let's see. Well, this one kind of bothers me. Uh, kindred support. So um, not as much as some of the other phrasing as uh, not as much as some. Actually, you know what? This one doesn't really doesn't bother me as much. OK, so kindred support, um, I would say, is like the support of like minded people. Um, well, this one, let go to flow. This one, this one is a little sacred creator -y as far as its phrasing is concerned. Uh, love your true self. We've got magical gratitude. Oh, and it's a horse. And oh, look, there's a horseshoe. Like it's, I don't know if you can see because of like the weirdness of my camera, but um, there's horses in the background and it's kind of like horseshoey. That's really adorable. I love it. Um, matching vibration. Mindful creation. Miracle of life. This one is uh, Natural Cycles, New Perspective, 
passion to thrive, positive reflection. And I mean, it go it goes on. Like I said, there's 55 cards in this deck, um, but the cards the cardstock is fantastic. It's got that really luxurious matte feel. This one is you are stardust. Mm, not a big. I don't think I'm a big fan of this one. If only because the person in the background imagery is wearing a hat, and I'm not a big hat fan. Like, is that weird? Is that like is that that's totally weird? I think is that I don't like hats. This one is uplift each other. Um, so I think for those who felt, you know what, I think this deck is perfect for those who felt that Sacred Creators wasn't quite the right fit for them. This deck is fantastic for you. It's got the same like positive, you know, but it's not like, it's not too positive. That's what I love about this deck so much. This is why I think I like it so much more than Sacred Creators. Um, the imagery is a little more, um, it's a little more, uh, conducive to reading intuitively. Um, it's not as um, mar it's not as geared or marketed towards um, entrepreneurs or artists as sacred creators, and um, the the language just fits in my brain better than the language from sacred creators. Um, like stop drop bliss just makes me like that that uh, there's another there's another YouTuber on here um, uh, Mar Marjorie I ugh, and she just pointed that card out to me and ever since that card it just makes me want to I just hate it and then there's another one uh, in there but I can't remember it off the top of my head because it's I haven't used my sacred creators in a couple of weeks but there's a couple of cards in there where I just I see them and I'm just like mm -mm. but this deck like I didn't get that feeling off of any of them like there are a couple that are like mm, mm, but there's nothing in there that makes me like hate them with the fiery passion of 10,000 white hot suns. But anyway, um, size of the deck is decent. You can fit it easily in your hand. I want to say it's about the same, same size as star child, um, borderless and it's 55 cards. So again, easily handled and let's see how this puppy shuffles. I actually haven't shuffled it yet. So this will be interesting. Not bad intermingling on the first shuffle. Um, it, the cards are a little stiff. They're gonna need a little. They're gonna need a little breaking in. But other than that, it rifled pretty decently. Let's try it again, because we're gonna do a card pull. Yeah, the rifle's not bad, but the cards are so the cards are stiff. But the rifling isn't bad on the first try. Um, they do feel like they hurt my hand a little bit though, because the cardstock is so thick. Um, Oh, that's, see, that's a little bit better, better than it was. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to spend the day uh, shuffling and getting to know this deck a little bit better, but hand over hand, uh, really good because the card stock isn't sticky. So you can easily hand over hand this one. Um, if you have smaller hands, you're going to have to do this deck the long way, which easily done, but I'm really bad at long ways, hand over hand shuffling. So, but it's not too, too bad. And I have to say for a Kickstarter deck, this actually came really fast. I think it was out like a month, month and a half after the pledge, the af after the um, pledge period had ended. So I'm actually very impressed as far as that's concerned because she had, um, she had the deck pretty much created and she already had a test deck back from the printer. So she didn't have to wait for like proofs or anything, which I mean, I get why some artists like they half finish a deck and then they take it to Kickstarter right like right away. But um, I love that she had the project ready to go so that way you didn't have to wait for it. And I feel like more people should be doing it that way. Like the Brady Tarot, I backed that one. I'm super glad I did waiting for it and and following the follow I've been following her Instagram for updates and that's been fantastic and I get that she's a person and she has a life but like I can't wait to get that tarot deck so much that anytime she posts anything that isn't about her tarot deck I kind of it kind of drives me a tiny bit crazy I'm almost like why aren't you working on your deck <laughs> like I cannot wait to have it um so I love that I love that Joe had the deck ready to go basically 
um, she did do five extra cards for the like as as stretch goals, which is really cool. And all of them were so there were five five to add. All of the stretch goals were met. Um, so we got the five extra. Um, I'm not sure which ones they are in the deck though. You know what? I will have to ask. Maybe I'll put it in the doobly doo later. Um, so we've got that nice and shuffled. Oh, the other things. All right, so I got the two decks, and then for stretch goal also um, was this awesome bag, um, this awesome drawstring bag that um, this was one of the stretch goals. So if you pledged for a deck, you got one of these bags. So that's awesome. Um, I might buy, I might, I might wind up buying a second one for the clarity deck, but I also might do a giveaway with the clarity deck. I haven't decided yet because I definitely like the magic deck a lot better. Um, and then also she sent out these awesome handwritten postcards, um, thanking, thanking everybody for their pledges. Um, this one says, thank you for helping bring this deck into the world. I am incredibly grateful for your love and support, wishing you all the magic and clarity you seek from Joe. So, um, again, it's, it's really like these handwritten cards are just a very nice touch, um, personally addressed so they're not just like she she did write the, the the names in and stuff and I know that she probably wrote out a bunch of these and then put everybody's names as they went out but even that is just it's like an awesome cute little like it's just it's a very personal touch and I love when kickstarters do that so oh you know what it's already shuffling better so I'm gonna do a single card draw for us let's see you know what we'll do this one feels right this one is Clarity of Insight. So the imagery on the back of this one is actually um, a planet in space. And there's like a, some clouds swirling around. And I feel like there's something else down here. But it's going to take a little bit of staring to kind of figure that out. It's almost like a magic eye. And then that looks like an eyeball, actually. I thought it was part of the planet, but I think that's an eye as well. So that's kind of neat, and the um, the geometrical symbol is very beautiful. I'm not too well versed in sacred geometry though, so I don't know what exactly that stuff means. It's 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 on my list of things to get well versed about, but I want to become proficient in tarot before I move on to the next thing. Um, so the book says, okay, clarity of insight. The way to receive clear messages and to know the guide and to know what guidance is right and true for you is to take a break or limit the opinions, fears, and projections of those around you. Find some time for solitude and unplug from external resources. The more you do so, the stronger the messages will come to you as will your confidence in following the, the, the guidance you receive. And the affirmation is, I am an open and clear channel to receive guidance and clarity from my guides in the universe. So I, I, you know what, I really like this card then, um, especially where you're working with a new new tool. It's important to kind of take that time to spend some quiet time with it, to get to know it, and to um, gain some confidence in your abilities when it comes to using it. That being said, I feel like this is a very user-friendly deck, um, and I really do look forward to working with it. And I've had it, I've actually had it for a few days now, and you guys can't even believe. I think I've had it for longer than that. I think I've had it for a week. Um, and you guys can't even believe like how excited I've been to like, I haven't even touched it before today. I've been really good about um, not playing with decks before doing the, um, or at least not playing with my new decks before doing these videos so that way I can give you a true first impression. But um, this deck is fantastic. <clears throat> I highly recommend it. I'm going to post below where I think you can still order it. And thank you guys for hanging in and taking a look at this deck with me. And again, this has been a um, first impressions of the Inner Star Oracle deck by Joe. How do you pronounce her last name? I'm sorry. Joe Klima? Klima? Joe, I'm sorry I mispronounced your last name. I'm so, so I'm so sorry. But um, definitely check her out. Check out our website and check out our decks, you guys. They're totally worth it. So thank you, Terrasphere, and I'll catch you um, at some point in the next few days. Bye.